Yes, hello, and welcome to another edition of Bang, Mary, Kill. Kill. Seeing how well the last video performed, I, I thought to myself, hey, why not do it again? Why not torture yourself some more? And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So, this time, I'm going to be doing the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're too young. They're way too young. Way, 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 way too out of my league, as a matter of fact. They all would whoop my ass, um, except Bubbles, maybe. Uh, but High Rise Invasion, if anyone's ever watched that show, it's on Netflix. Go check it out. I recommend it. Maybe even read the manga if you're into that kind of thing. But So there are these three girls. Wouldn't you know, they remind me of the Powerpuff Girls, in a way, because their personalities pretty much are the same. And I'll explain why later. All right, we should start with the main protagonist of the show, Yuri Hanjo. I, I I don't know what it is with me, but any time a female lead wears a sailor outfit, I have to I have to possess this this weird kind of loathing towards them for some reason. No offense to her, I wouldn't kill her because I mean, as we've seen her progress throughout the first season, um, she goes absolutely insane. I mean, if I even try to hire a hitman to take her out it, it, god man i mean god's on her side practically spoilers but god's on her side through thick and thin basically hell she might just shove a fucking grenade down my throat if i were asleep so i don't think i could kill her so this this would actually be tricky i was gonna i was gonna give her the uh usaki treatment and be like oh she's so annoying uh, all she wants to do is is reunite with her brother uh, she doesn't care about anything else but then i realized well, she does care for uh, Mayuko Nisei, the other girl I'm going to talk about, but I don't know. I guess I would bang her. I would bang Yuri because, um, so, I mean, she has a warm heart. Uh, clearly, she's this go-getter. I, 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 I personally love that in a woman, <laughs> especially uh, a woman as versatile as Yuri. And I, I just don't know. I feel like I feel like a marriage would go south immediately. <laughs> like I could not bear to to live in the same house as her. I mean, sure, a one night stand, whatever. I just to see just to see how kinky she really is in the bedroom. Cause I feel like she's a kinky son of a bitch. Let me tell you. All right, now let's get into uh, my Konitsu. She is amazing. Well, like, one of my favorite characters from the show. I only have to kill her because... Kill, 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 well, kill. it's just... It, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel right to have any sort of relationship with her. Because I feel like she's this bipolar mess. But her childhood speaks for itself. So... What if her mask ego just came out of her like out of nowhere then what would i do then i'd be screwed i mean i think with such a troubled past i don't know i'd probably just put her out of her misery <clears throat> last but certainly not least kwan shinsaki another personal favorite of mine it's really really come to this huh you guys are finally going to understand my corrupted mentality and what I find enjoyable in a woman and basically why I would marry Kwan I I don't even think I need any other reason I mean just fucking look at her look at her look at it look at it look at it 